Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Judean's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing our last video before the brand new episode of Fear of the Walking Dead, episode 4 of the final season. We're going to go through some preview photos, give our thoughts on those, and also talk about the return of Victor Strand in a new teaser. Dad, help me! I waited too long. Listen, baby, I'm coming for you. They will kill you if you don't tell them what happened. All right, so we have the brand new episode of Fear the Walking Dead as of, well, tonight, really. I mean, kind of technically, 3 a.m. Thursday on AMC+. Plus. But anyway, so uh, we're going to go through some uh, preview photos for this episode. You guys did let me know about these, and I definitely wanted to uh, go through them for this video. And, uh, man, this episode looks really, really good. Um, it definitely is the most promising episode of the season so far. Uh, because, as you guys know, I thought the premiere was, you know, pretty good. Episode 2 was was actually really good. Uh, episode 3. Three, I, I wasn't too big on, and then this one looks really, really good. Um, so, yeah, very exciting stuff. Anyway, here we got Morgan. He's going up to one of the houses here, probably Rick's old house, I would assume, or just another one of the houses that are in King County. Um, you've got him kind of going through the streets right here. He's using like a, like a, I think it's like a, a sign or something, <laughs> like, you know, uh, like a pole for a sign or something that he's, he's like using for staff. So that's pretty cool. You got him kind of running through here. Again, same type of thing. Uh, you've got him going up to the house right here. Uh, just kind of making sure there's no walkers that come out of it, I guess, or something. Uh, you got Morgan. Now, here is the actual house that he and Dwayne were staying at. You can tell by the uh, wallpaper in the back um, and even, like, the curtains and stuff like that. So this is a trip down memory lane for sure. This is a really crazy thing to see. Um you know, and he looks so much older now, right? With like the gray beard and stuff like that. Yeah, it, this is this is absolutely insane. Uh, here we got Dwight and Sherry. Um, they're in like some kind of like treehouse looking thing. So not sure what they're doing up here. But uh, we know they're going to have a major part in this episode as well, too. And here they are kind of uh, looking out. I know that at this part in the trailer, they also had Finch with them. So I don't know how they're going to possibly find him. But I'm pretty sure in this episode, uh, Finch is supposed to be with them. So we'll, we'll see more of that pretty soon. But uh, here you got Morgan again heading into the house. Uh, you've got Morgan right here uh, kind of just killing some walkers and stuff like that. Uh, here he is right here, just kind of going beast mode, right? Uh, I love that he's using like a sign, like a, a pole for a sign to kill walkers. That's that's a different one. Um, here he's uh, kind of going. It almost looks like he may know this person right here because he kind of looks like kind of shocked by them. But it could just be, you know, the way the, the photo looks or whatever. But pretty cool. Uh, there he is kind of killing them. Pretty cool. Uh, again, another one of him killing them. A lot of, you know, just similar shots of him killing some walkers, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and also, I I really do want to point out, I do like his outfit a lot, like the green jacket and stuff. It's very different for, uh, for Morgan. I know that he's going to be having the jean jacket later on, but this is a pretty cool outfit as well, too. Um, so I like that. Uh, it looks like Morgan's pooping right here. But uh, anyway, uh, here is Morgan and Grace. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they're just kind of like uh, chilling in the house or whatever. Here you've got, oh, this idiot. Now, here's my one thing, man. Please do not let her take up half this freaking episode, man. Seriously, like, I don't like Padre. I don't like this group. And I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this anymore. I think this group is freaking stupid, to be honest. <laughs> you know, now that we know fully what they're about, now that we fully, fully have our answers on them now, like, yeah, no, I don't like this group at all, and I really don't care about her. Um, I'm going to start calling her Shrek for the time being. Uh, here is Finch right here uh, in Padre again. So we'll see what goes on, uh, goes on there. Uh, here's Morgan. He's like covered in blood. He's like walking through. You got like a little fence location or whatever. Um, here you've got Dwight and Sherry right here in some like darker like building or whatever. Uh, we know they're going after Morgan, although we'll have to see where that goes because plot wise, that's very weird. Uh, we did do a video on that, but um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, you've got Dwight here again. Uh, we've also got uh, one here of Grace and Mo, and I believe that's it. So um, yeah, cool photos. Definitely excited for episode four. Uh, excited to uh, see what they got for us. You know what I mean? I mean, we're going back to the old Clear location. We're going back to the old Morgan house. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to in this episode, and uh, so far it looks really good. Minus you know Padre, I, I don't really care about that. But aside from that, it looks really really awesome for sure. So those are the preview pictures for this episode for episode four. Of Fear of the Walking Dead. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed those, but I also want to talk about a brand new little teaser that came out for Victor Strand for this season. So uh, Victor has been absent throughout all of season eight of Fear so far, the first three episodes. He was mentioned once, apparently he uh, was on the raft, but 
when they got taken by Padre, he wasn't on the rafts, and now we don't know where Victor is, and it's been like seven years. So we don't know what happened to Victor, we don't know where he's been, and then randomly uh, this morning I saw this teaser right here of Victor standing there with like this like big military looking type hat or whatever, um, and then I've heard a few other people that were telling me, and I, I don't know how true this is or how you know legit this is, so take this with a grain of salt, but apparently there's supposed to be some new group of like Germans or something, some, something like that. I don't know what's going on with that, um, but apparently Victor has teamed up with a group of Germans, so again, I, I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. Um, again, the showrunners have said that this is a Victor that we've never seen before. That That's for damn sure. I, I never expected Victor to be the leader of, you know, a group of Germans, for sure. That's, that's very different. Um, but yeah, so maybe that's what's going on here. I don't know. It, it, Victor is is a very big wild card right now. Um, I, I still feel, and I'm going to acknowledge this once again, I still feel like they just don't know what to simply do with them because they know they screwed up big time last season. But whatever. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I like, you know, uh, Coleman Domingo as Victor Strand. Aside from season seven, I do enjoy Victor's character a lot. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with him. Um, some people are thinking, Thinking that he'll be the final villain of the show, it's very, very possible, especially after hearing, you know, this updated news that he has a group of his own now and stuff like that. Um, at least that's the rumors I've been hearing. So we'll see if those, you know, come true. But sounds like that probably is the case. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, this is definitely going to be a very interesting storyline. I'm very interested to see where this goes. Um, you know, Victor is, uh, he's a character that's very up and down for a lot of people right now. I still like him. I know a lot, not everybody does. I still like Victor. Um, I think he has a lot more good seasons than bad, but, um, uh, yeah, we'll see what they do with him. The actor has charisma, so, you know, we'll be sure to get some good performances from him. And I am very interested in seeing what he will think once he sees Madison alive. That reaction is going to be very incredible. Um, and I think Victor, that reaction from him is going to be something that's uh, really insane. I don't know if maybe he is like the final villain of the show and maybe Madison has to put him down or if it's going to be Daniel that puts him down. Who knows? But uh, I definitely could see a scenario where Victor dies. I could. Um, if he's coming back as a main antagonist or something, yeah, that would be um, for sure a death for him at that point, I would say. Um, but anyway... Let me know in the comment section below. What are you guys expecting for episode four if you're The Walking Dead? Let me know in the comment section below. What is your hype? It's coming up, of course, uh, literally just later on tonight. So make sure to get ready for the episode, guys. I hope you guys all enjoy it and stay tuned tomorrow for the review um, because I'm sure we'll have a lot of stuff to say once the episode releases. So anyway, of course, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.